What's up, guys? This is Heist, and today we're playing Railroads Online with my buddy Khan, and today he gets to steal my intro. Look at wow, that. Wow, look at that. Wow, look, that me, hasn't even happened gave yet, gave I don't me an think. Intro. Um, I did. So we You're got, welcome. Uh, we bought some coal cars. We bought two extra hoppers. We did. We have two more hoppers, so we got eight hoppers, and honestly, seeing the Glenbrook with eight hoppers behind it is kind of awesome. This is a great-looking <laughs> train. Um, so yeah, this we have is, eight hoppers. We're going to yeah. go up to the coal mines. We're going to need the helper. We do have the uh, the gear We're train gonna at there. Least, at least one helper, if not... I guess they're you know, empty. they're empty. But, they're empty, right? uh, Man, the empty coal hoppers, are, or the hoppers in general, are still pretty heavy, I want to say. They're are like they? 13,000 a piece, I think. Let me right. check. Yeah, 13,200. So they're like one and a half flats. Yeah, Dude, we're cruising with like like only 20% rank. Like, we're like... Dude, Glenbrook's a speedy boy. So today, Heist, I uh, I have a, I finished my secret that we talked about last time. Um, you finished the secret. I finished right. the secret. It took me way too long to build, but I did build the secret. So we have an alternate route to the coal mine. Really? Um, yeah, I built an alternate route. So we had talked about building a route that goes down uh, over that mountain pass by the coal mine. So I built that route, but we're going to go up the 10% because that's the way we're heading, obviously. And okay. then we'll come down that route, and, uh, you know, we could go up so, or down that route. It is a... So, yeah. you're telling me that... I built another you route. You built a roller coaster, because no, we're no, still it's going not, up it's, the 10%? No, well, we go up the 10%, yeah. So, yeah, that's like, true. We should go built, down the 10%. If you built a shallower railroad to the coal mine, we should have gone up that way. Well, that's true, this that's way. true, but this is... But we're empty, so it doesn't matter. Fine. Oh, okay. So you did not build a roller coaster. I mean, coaster, yeah, theoretically, my, we could. My hopes and dreams are. We could delete the ten percent run, but like, I don't want to. Because it's like you might as well just leave it. It is a vibe. You it know? is. It is a vibe. I feel yeah, like people sure. wouldn't use it, but like you'll see. I don't okay. know. You'll, you so, can make that so decision gonna, once we figure run up out. Ten percent, get to the coal mine, load up with coal, and then you've made some other route that. Uh, I'm yeah, not that goes down. To. Yeah. You don't realize how high up the coal mine is until, like, look at. Okay, look at from here, right? We go over that mountain ahead of us, right? Yeah. By the time we get up yeah. to 10% nonsense, we're over that. Like, how stupid is that, you know? It's pretty, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty, so. it's pretty freaking dumb. And then to get down from there back to where we were at the, at the, um, Yeah, and we're already, yeah. well, I guess we're lower right now, though, because we're in the Smelter Valley level height, which yeah. is lower than Freight Depot, it's right? Still, it's so. still, it's pretty, it's pretty bad. That's anyway, I'm gonna let you come out with uh, standing by there. Oh, dude, you can make the climax roll coal. Look at this. Yeah, that's how that works. Wait, what? Yeah. Look at this. Look at all the smoke. All the Look smoke. Look at all the smoke. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> uh, it, it's literally hard. synced to the RPM uh, of the. Oh my god, yeah, dude, that's, that's so much smoke. Um, that's okay, really so wood dumb. burners actually burn like a lot less black smoke. Oh, then it's it's oops. more. No, yeah, wood burners don't make black smoke. Black smoke it's is like a coal burner smoke. thing. It's very, it's very brown, actually. Um, like think of, think of a big roaring campfire with your yeah, friends. Isn't that, isn't that smoky? And then like that's white just. Gray? I mean, you get a little bit of gray, yeah, but it's definitely, uh, it's definitely in the gray brown territory. Right. Oh my god, it your does chuffs, seem okay. So, it does seem like the chuffs are synced to the crankshaft on this, which is nice, better than the Glenbrook. So. And they and it, so you a gear train would literally be chuffing that fast. Oh yeah, they chuff stupid fast. I guess the cylinders are a lot smaller though, so it's not really like... Well, I mean, it's all about, think about how fast you're trying to reverse the piston. Right. That's really what the speed of a steam engine comes down to, is how fast can you take that weight of piston and make it go the other direction. It sounds uh, like you're just... only uh, so fast. It sounds like you're doing a burnout and not actually pulling. I have 50% reg, so okay. yeah. I'm, I'm doing what I can, and yeah, good god, this thing leaves the smoke trail, it's kind of fun. Alright, I'm, I'm not on my reg just yet, I want to, like, make sure you have grip before we... Sure. There the we thing go. that I'm now realizing I'm now, um, is that the, uh, the whistles don't have reverb anymore. Oh yeah, what? Which is weird, and good god, oh my the god, climax dude, this, just... The, look at the black smoke cloud the behind this smoke, feels I more. Mean, this feels more like we're railroad now. So, so, so this is just abhorrent waste of fuel, and I've never seen smoke this black come out of even a coal burner, really. Like, this looks like an oil burner when you're against the light. This looks like an oil burner with the firing valve wide open, which absolutely will dump smoke like this, but no wood burner can make smoke like this, and a coal burner... 
only make smoke like this if it's just the worst fire in the world that's not breathing. So normally if you have like like a coal fire, it'll produce a little bit of black smoke, but a lot of it's just like clean so air or like it how's depends, that? It depends on how the fire's burning. It, that's entirely the whole thing. So like any smoke is the sign that the fire is not burning efficiently. And sometimes you, you have to burn a little extra uh, and push it a little harder sometimes with some trains and some draft setups and whatever. But if you have the perfect locomotive and you have the perfect fire on any fuel type, it is a clear stack. Right. So, you know, the, the, the reality of it comes in with like the solid fuels like wood and coal. If you have a clear stack, you're burning completely um, and you're about to be burning like not as hot as you need to be and so you almost always have to load it up a little bit more so that it's burning with a slight haze and, and so a lot and of the, the reminder firemen... like the the chuffing comes from the fact that the cylinders discharge steam into the stack with the yes smoke. through a designed nozzle that causes a normal shock wave right in fluid mechanics through the stack and that is the actual chuff sound you get and that's to help aid with the suction of the, that, the smoke yes. and everything through the firebox. Yes. Okay. That draws a vacuum in the smoke box that draws through the tubes, through the fire, reinvigorates the fire, and makes the fire burn insanely hot. I right. mean, it's incredible how hot it burns. Uh, and so if, with even a coal burner, if you got good draft, the fire goes clean, the stack goes clean. It's a measure of a good fireman how clean your stack is, you know, within certain reason. Uh, you have to be able to have some sort of steady state to achieve that. Uh, for us at the Railroad Museum, we go uphill, then we go downhill. So you have a clean stack on the uphill, and it spews a little smoke on the downhill, and, and no one's going to get how, away from that, really. How does a fire become less efficiently burning? Like, okay, so the basic rule of fire is you have fuel plus oxygen produces flame, right? Fuel, oxygen, heat creates flame, right? Fire triangle. And inefficient yes. combustion comes when, like, pure, perfect combustion is carbon, um, you know, plus oxygen equals it carbon dioxide. It creates CO2, yes, right. rather than incomplete. Rather than carbon monoxide. CO. Yeah. And then whatever other chemicals you have in the material that you're burning mixed in with all that, blah, 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 blah. There's a lot of... Right. But, like, with a steam locomotive, how come coming downhill, like, you haven't, you won't, if you know you're about to go on a downhill, you're not going to add fuel to the fire. So, like, why is it, why does it all of a sudden burn inefficiently? Like, I don't understand. So, so here's the fun. You have to set the fire to burn efficiently for the blast nozzle pressure or the, uh, the back pressure of the engine so that you're providing enough steam so that you're not losing steam on the uphill. Because remember, if you lose too much steam, you're causing temperature cycles in the boiler, which is heat fatigue. So you have to have enough fire to keep the steam pressure relatively consistent on the upgrade. Right. And then on the downgrade, you're no longer using that giant volume of steam that you were. And you can't take the fire out of a coal burner. You can't remove the coal. And so if you didn't burn it all the way down to the level that it's going to be consuming when there's just uh, nothing, to I got to jump out. Yeah, I'm, I shut off my rig. I'm, I jumped out. So if you I'm break breaking. a little bit, I can grab it. Yeah, you can get back on it. Um, if you haven't burned down to that level of it barely consuming anything, uh, you know, you, you're not going to be happy with what your fire is doing. So it becomes inefficient because but the you, second you But wouldn't you just the let throttle, the fire, like, so, like, your cylinders are consuming less steam on the way down. I understand that. But yep. wouldn't you just let your boiler, like, like your fires, you've stopped adding fuel to the fire, so your fire is still burning. It's still going to heat up water in the boiler, which is still going to get to a, a certain max. Adding wouldn't, it just, fuel. wouldn't it just blow we don't the relief valve of the boiler, though? Like, you'd be like, I'm not using as much steam. It fills the boiler with too much steam. Pressure builds. Yes, relief valve but goes. That's, opening, that's opening a three-inch hole in the boiler Right. that makes an extremely loud noise that pisses off your neighbors and everyone so who's you, around oh, you. So you just don't want to do it. So you don't want to do it. And it and it's wasting. It's wasting coal. It's wasting water. It's wasting everything to blow the safety valve. Right, because so yes, all that could steam do that, is just but... energy that goes to nothing. Exactly. And so when you do get to the top, I mean, you try and engineer it such that, okay, they shut off. They're no longer using steam. I no longer have my fire drafting, which is why the smoke changes. It's not because we haven't used the steam. It's because we've stopped drafting the fire because we are now going downhill and the pistons are not causing this big forceful exhaust and the snifters open and and we're no longer drafting the fire are you at a hundred percent right now or no i am at a hundred percent with sand yes okay okay i wasn't sure if we actually needed it or not 
Yeah, no, we're we're at 100 percent, 100 percent with sand and. Man, this is uh, this is kind of awesome looking. This is great. Look at the amount of this smoke, is... though. I can't even see like most of the cars uh, it's, back there. It's this, just... this amount of smoke is entirely unrealistic for anything wood burning and coal burning. Still, like this, this is the worst fireman in the world. I mean, I guess if your fire does burn for an entire century, like in the game, I mean, I guess it makes sense. Okay, so yeah, so fine. you get to the top of the hill. You're coming down the hill. You turn off your rag. You turn off your fire. Whatever else, all that stuff, right? You stop all that. Okay, um, you let your boiler, like, it's gonna, it's gonna push pressure into the cylinder. I still don't understand how that makes blacker smoke. Like, it's... Well, that's because you, you've lost the exhaust pressure. Your fuel, your fuel is there. Oh, you're not, burn. you're not pulling as much oxygen through the you're fire anymore. You're not pulling through the oxygen. As soon as you oh, shut the so throttle, the, fuel, the smoke oxygen goes mixes black. all off. It's too much yeah. fuel, not enough. You lose the oxygen oh, right away. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah that makes sense. It's See, they just need the a turbo steam. fan yeah. that they can turn on then, like a little electric turbo fan. That well, just... we have this thing called the blower, which is a valve that dumps steam directly out that you can use. From but the boiler. again, out of the boiler, directly out the stack, and it creates a, like a, a continuous draft. Right. Out of, uh, out of the boiler, or out of the boiler, out the stack instead, which can draw the fire. But, I mean, you don't want to be building steam because your steam demand has gone too. Oh, God. Oh, oh yeah. Please Con, don't look to the, the right. What the hell is that? <laughs> Con! No! Please don't no! look to the right. Please keep your eyes no! on the left for this tour. No! Oh, my. Okay. Well, I'm just going to ignore that that exists please, and I'll be please mad Please keep about your eyes later. on the left for the tour. Uh, you can disconnect from me now, actually. Uh, so uh, I got rid of the. I got rid of the little extra lane we had. So you have to just back down onto that lane and let me pass, and then you can go back up and go okay. back to the helper. All right. Well, bye, friends. Um, I guess I will go. Go back to the helper and then teleport to the yeah. coal mine, and I'll uh, I'll oh meet you there. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. You're gonna have to stop because I'm gonna have to. I'm on full break. Uh, I guess I can go full reverse as well. This is down like three percent still, right? So it's still a little bit, but I'm okay. Uh, I put the climax in reverse, and it's. Uh, doesn't look like it's in reverse, sir. Um, I put the climax in reverse, uh, sir. It is not. You might have to <laughs> just just, just teleport smoke. to the coal mine, and I'll just wait here for you. You'll be fine. Forgot to ask you about four and a half cars and the five horsepower oh, yes. motor. Oh five, five which horsepower is your, motor. Your, your dangling question from uh, the last episode, like last right. time we had me and the drunk grizzly bear. So, so. cool thing is five horsepower is, is you know, we, we talk about, like you were talking about how horsepower doesn't matter in in trains in an episode a while ago. And, you know, it, it kind of got me thinking because horsepower really, you know, everyone always thinks that horsepower is just like, if I have more horsepower, I have more, more pulling power, right? And that's not true at all. Um, you know, it is to an extent, I mean, I'm going to get crucified again here by all the car people, but like, yeah, you mean, know, yeah. horsepower isn't just like this great oh magical, my God, this thing's going fast. it isn't just some magical formula where it's like more horsepower is always going to be beneficial. So anyway, there's this five horsepower motor, right? And this five horsepower motor was designed to pull, um, a cable in a factory. Every, pretty much every factory I've ever worked in, they're always using conveyor belts or conveyor chains, right? And so you have this really long chain that goes around a, a giant conveyor line. And the chain is going to be, you're talking a chain that's like two or three kilometers long, and each link probably weighs about 100 pounds. Good right? heavens. So like, that's like a serious it's millions chain. Of, it's millions of pounds because it's moving a lot of weight. Like, let's say you have 100 cars on an assembly line, you know, even a car with none of the engine parts in it, just the frame and the metal, you're talking thousands of pounds. Like, it's a thousand pound thing getting dragged by chains that weigh millions of pounds. Like, the whole thing is a massive assembly, right? So anyway, so we had this one chain where, where I worked and it had a series of cars. The cars were dragged on the chain through a wash process. Like basically every place I've worked at, if you're painting something, you have to wash it first. You wash it with like very, very high pressure nozzles. We're talking like three, four, 500 PSI minimum. Like Surface prep is important. Anyway, there's a whole process to it. It's all very, I, I, don't, I don't know how hush hush it all is, but everyone has a different process. Anyway, big freaking five horsepower motor that's all it is five horsepower but it spins very 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 slow and it goes through a giant reduction gearbox so this line will move this million pound chain at less than a kilometer an hour right now every motor in the world that i've ever worked with in industrial applications has an over torque fault and the over torque fault 
is a really simple, I don't know how it works. I, I think it uses like voltages or something to look like, hey, I'm giving it power and I'm not seeing movement on the encoder. Um, like a motor has an encoder, so it knows what position it's in. Anyway, long story short, a motor will have an overtorque fault, which basically is like, hey, I'm stuck. I can't move like something's wrong. So I'm going to shut off. And that's what they do, right? So this okay. motor, five horsepower motor, we're, 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 you know, normal day, whatever. And we get this call and we're like, hey man, the, the motor's got an overtorque fault on this assembly line. And we're like, okay, so like, you know, the chain must have gotten stuck or something or whatever, and it's stuck. So we're looking through the assembly line and we see like car on the chains, car on the chains, car on the chains. Gap, 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 okay. gap, no cars. And we're like, well, this makes no sense. Where are these cars that are supposed to be on this chain? So it was inside one of these big washing units that like washes the cars. And I guess one of the cars clipped something in the washing unit and got stuck oh, no. and then the car behind it pushed into it and then the car behind it pushed into it and then the car behind it pushed into it and then finally like half the other car pushed into it before <laughs> finally this five horsepower motor was like you know what i've had enough it's an over torque fault and it threw the fault and sure enough, it was literally like it looked like these five car bodies had hit at full speed on a high like they were crumpled into each other oh my god like like <laughs> thousands of pounds of metal just squished into like a pancake as if uh, uh, by a five horsepower motor that's and that's why insane. five horsepower is much stronger than you think it is that's because the motor is moving so absurdly slow well, and it's, and it's got a crazy anyway, gear ratio and all sorts of stuff you right? are like, you are good to like take it ahead friend i am in the clear now uh yeah but, you gotta uh, oh yeah that's right i gotta go past you before you get to the helper yeah. that's right but anyway that's yeah. my story about the five horsepower motor it was it yeah was... like that's the that's the whole thing people are like well it's just torque and horsepower and it's like well yeah it doesn't I mean, really yes, work out that way yes but no but yes but no i mean you know yeah so that was a good that was a things. good time we had to like it took like two and a half shifts just to cut everything out like you just you didn't have a choice you oh cut my it. god yeah i mean you just gotta cut the car i mean it's scrapped at that point right oh yeah that's... there's yeah there's yeah there's nothing you can, nothing you can do about it. Uh, God, this thing is just a burnout machine, dude. And when it I know, burns out, it I mean, the, the amount of I'm, smoke. I'm so mad that gear trains don't let you just put it in full speed. I had actually, someone in my Discord was talking about that. And I was like, yeah, it would be nice if you could use gear trains. Like, just put it in full speed. And it'll never spin. Like, the wheel will only ever spin this fast. Because that's what it would do. Like, it wouldn't, you know. So, I had some people talking about the fact that they'd seen Geared Engine's wheel slip uh, in the comments, which I'm, I knew it was a thing. Um, I was surprised to hear how common it was, but, I mean, at the end of the day, like, if we're talking realism, you never open the reg on a steam engine straight the heck open, unless right. you've got, like, absolute tonnage, everything, but uh, in this game where the steam sim and the power application sim is just so not even there like why are you going to make this one that is the best engine in the game by pulling power like why are you going to cripple it with that Doesn't do gear sense. engines um do gear so i know like we talk about regular locomotives their timing is driven by the johnson bar a series of levers and bars underneath based off the wheel rotation the axle rotation do gear engines work the same way like pistons move based on the axle rotation gear engines work the same way but it's based off of the uh, the actual like the prior to the gear reduction so the drive axle. drive shafts that's so the drive axle and everything so you can look at the climax um on my screen and you can see the valve gear doing the dance um right. and it's not animated correctly but that's okay but it's stevenson valve gear based off the drive axle and then that's geared down and i have a great video on my channel of the Heisler that I got to film up in close in Nevada at the Great Western Steam Up with Stevenson valve gear. And you get to see, oh yeah, this is just a V-twin with Stevenson valve gear for the two different things. And, uh, you know, once you understand that, you go, oh no, this totally makes sense now. Whereas before you, you see the pistons being in weird spots and you see all the stuff and you're like, oh God, that doesn't make any sense. But as soon as you kind of process the parts and go, oh wait, no, that's, that's actually how that works actually becomes really easy to understand. I actually just made a video about this recently, like how the railroads loaded coal. That's a, a whole video on my channel that you should check out from last week, actually. Um, but we talk about like what the Rear Grand and the Rear Grand Southern did and, and the different flavors of coal loading they did, because we don't load coal like people used to. We use a backhoe because that's what we have and it's easy and it's fast and we built a ramp for it. Uh, but back in the day, it was dudes with shovels or, uh, you know, like a coal tipple or 
a couple other neat little solutions that were there, but um, sometimes the coal comes in big pieces. You know, you, you hope for a baseball, uh, size of your fist for those of you outside the US, you know, uh, maybe a eight centimeter sphere-ish. And that's just so it burns sphere. longer? Uh, just so it, well, so it doesn't burn so long, actually. Like, that's the, the small Wait, piece bigger, that bigger coal? burns faster. Oh, Good oh, God, dude. You're I getting, you, get, some... you get coal that's bigger than that. I thought you were saying that's I've... the coal, like the biggest coal you're looking no, for. No, that's that's ideal. Getting like, that is small... great. Oh. Some, sometimes we get dirt. Like, we've gotten coal loads that had some, what we call slack, which is basically black dirt that burns. Um, and we like get coal the, dust the baseball. Or whatever. Coal dust, yeah. The baseball size pieces, which are a deal softball size pieces which are you know even bigger than your fist so you know maybe andre the giant's fist <laughs> you know something that's maybe um i don't know if i had to guess maybe 15 centimeter sphere ish for those of you in metric land uh something along that order and and the engines the little engines get a little bit more picky about it than the big ones do like 491 doesn't really care you can put big pieces of coal on her and she doesn't really care all day uh but we've gotten some that are gargantuan the biggest piece of coal i've ever seen was like maybe 15 inches wide uh 30 inches tall what and do then do like that? Do eight inches before thick. you like put it oh you beat it you beat it to death with a hammer into little pieces coal breaks apart really on, easily on with the a train. hammer like while on you're... the train we we carry a hammer on all the locomotives so that we can actually break the coal into pieces yeah because the the big pieces of coal they burn for longer, which is good in some aspects. Like if you're firing the back corners of the engines, which you can't see, it's nice to stick one in there to know it's going to burn for a while and you can forget about it. Uh, but if you miss with a big piece of coal, you get to stare at this temple to you missing with the coal scoop for potentially an hour, you know, or more, depending on. So once you uh, throw so. your, your coal into the fire, like, you can't move it. Like, that's it. There's no... Yeah, I mean, so we do have fire rakes that you can stick into the fire and move things around. We do have those, but those tend to incur more problems than they solve. If you start to rake the fire and you rotate the coals and, and dig in a little bit and, and flip things up, the fly ash and the non-combustibles tend to fall down and get shook through the grates. And so if you flip them upside down, they end up on top. And then they can actually form what we call a clinker, which is basically ash cement. And, uh, and that, that is blocks, a bad it day. Plugs your grates up. Plugs the grates up, uh, and you have to beat them to death with the rake or a long stick or something to break them apart. Um, and thankfully at the museum, I haven't had to deal with terribly many super bad ones. Okay, but like your but normal non, not like fun. you have non-combustibles in every chunk of coal because it's not going to yes. be pure. So and they, they eventually fall just away. Get, they, they always fall, fall away unless you grab the grates. Uh, you like know, they or fall, grab, they'll just fall through the grates in a way, or like they'll get blown out the stack or whatever. Like it's yes, unless you start disturbing the fire or you've got really bad coal. Right. Anyways, I'm here. I'm on top of your train now, so keep it coming another half car. That'll do. Anywhere yeah. in there is fine. Yeah. And yeah. I'll get your last car loaded here if you want to cut off and go Why? Other than the rake, like once the coal and everything's in there, it's in there and you can't really move it. Right. Unless the engine moves it for you, which is one of the fun things that you run into. How? Like, <laughs> it's on a metal plate, right? With, like, grates or something? So Yes, yes. It doesn't but... really, it wouldn't really slide around very much then. It would, like... So you think. It still um, does. So you think. So it depends. Guy sets so... all the switches, doesn't even set this switch. Unbelievable. Well, you hadn't run through it yet. Ding dong. Okay. Bring it in my head once you set your own switch, and then uh, then you'll run through the second lane, and uh, we'll get you on the, the other end of the coal train here. So, I've had 491 mess with me real hard with this before. Uh, and, and it's based on firebox design and track conditions, basically, is the real answer. So, some engines that have smart firebox designs, like the K36, which is a cousin to 491, a K37, have the grates slightly sloped at maybe a 5 or 10 degree angle all the way. So, as the engine works, it rattles down the railroad and everything, everything kind of shakes forward. So you're really tending the back of the fire 
and that be the front of the fire though? wouldn't that be like kind of good no that's good yeah that's what yeah. i'm saying it's good you only have to really shovel super hard you don't at the have back to throw the all the way to the front and all that don't stuff, have to or... throw all the way to the front as much everything kind of shakes forward and uh that's that right which is great that's one of the great things about i have a K pin 36. on this by the way pin and link oh you do okay i'll well, we go take them out of this car um k37 the ash pan doesn't have enough airflow through it at the back to really burn super super hot at the back so they like to burn at the front to start um <laughs> and then the fun extra thing is they're flat totally level for about two-thirds of the length of the firebox which is actually longer than the entire k36 firebox but that's another discussion uh, and then it slopes down at a, about a 20 degree angle, steeper angle for the last little bit. So you get the coal most of the way up, it kind of shakes forward. But 491 has messed with me before when we had a, a frog in the track that was pounding pretty hard. Wait, wait, um, a frog? <laughs> we haven't talked about this yet, have we? Like, I'm gonna uh, assume a frog is not actually an amphibian. It is in not this a, case. a, 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 it's not that kind of frog. What, it that is was a, a frog noise, bruh. It okay. wasn't very good. I'm was just going to say, yeah. it's a good thing you're not a voice okay. actor. I'm not even going to try a frog noise because well, mine would be just as embarrassing, but that was, that was, I feel embarrassed for you, sir. The frog is the point where the stock rails of the Switch crossover. It looks like a frog got squished right what? through here, right where we just ran over. Right, that looks, that, okay, I mean, kind of, sure. It looks kind of like a frog. It they kinda, figured it I out guess. many, many moons ago. They were not imaginative. Anyway, um, the frog was too high, and so we were coming through the one leg of the switch, uh, and it would pound really hard every time we went through until we fixed it, which is later. But anyway, uh, and so I loaded a basketball-sized piece of coal, big honking piece of coal, into the back corner of the 491. Go around the railroad, I checked the fire the next time at the bottom of the hill, and the basketball had rolled out of the corner. And I was like, what? Check it the next lap. It had rolled out of the corner yet again check it the next i mean she rolled it all the way across the 12 foot long firebox uh hi to the front by the end are you kidding me this is uh this is a little bit of this is a bit of three percent so it's three percent do we not have enough huevos with the glenbrook to do this i mean i could maybe back up and get a more speed. i'm checking the 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 handbrakes right now i feel like if i back oh, up because it flattens out as soon as we get up onto that that yeah spot. i believe in you let's uh let's back up and like back up far into the yard and get it going scary fast okay hold on hold on let's do some math real quick you got the tractive effort right so this is oh yes let me let me get my spreadsheet one here. of these is twenty two thousand pounds plus oh the, that's just the load just the load is twenty two thousand pounds oh good plus god plus the okay. thirteen thousand two. so it's basically thirty five thousand pounds a car Times yeah, eight I've got, cars, I've got, so we're 280,000 pounds-ish. Yeah, coal loaded is 35, 274, let's see, times eight. Uh, it is 282,000, yeah, 192 pounds. Uh, total, here I am with 280 as a close number. Man, I was, you know... 282, dang. yeah, you're off by 2,000. Oh, uh, man. Whole ton could, fired, yeah. fired, fired, fired. Uh, so the Glenbrook is only good for 164,322 on a three percent. Uh, it wouldn't even be good on a 2%. You'd have to be less than a 2% to make this work. So we're down um, a bit. So we need, to, we need to haul the mail. Get well, as I'm, fast as I'm we can. I'm full regging and, it right now. So if this doesn't work, we'll just have to... We should have left... The, we should have kept we the helper. We should have left the climax. Yeah. We, <laughs> we, need, we need another Class 48 to be sitting in this thing for people who need help right. out. Maybe we have we another helper up here, up here in this shed to help people get back out of the coal mine if they need to. Yeah, because on 3%, the Glenbrook's only good for 164,000. Class 48 wouldn't even do this. It's only good for 225,000. Uh, what so about like a 280? Uh, the Class 70 could do it with ease. 334, 975. I don't have the cookie 280 in my spreadsheet yet because I've never owned one in the game. Uh, uh, so, yeah. Anyway, Climax could handily do it of two, of course, but I mean, that's uh, it's Climax, so what else is new yeah the climax is kind of a beast all right we got some really speed is. this time keep it wide open yeah oh yeah i'm not touching it i i believe in us now maybe maybe if we can just make it to that one section where it flattens out a little bit and then it goes up a little bit more after that but then it goes but down but then it goes down right after that yeah. so 
just have to see how long it goes. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to get a helper. Yeah, which uh, which we're on a little bit of time, but that's okay. Of all of the grades that we were going to struggle with today, I was not anticipating it to be the leaving the coal mine grade yeah, to be the Yeah, I forgot that we made this a 3%, so it's like, even if it was 2, though, you're saying, we just need a bigger road engine, that's a problem. Yeah, Glenbrook, Glenbrook is beautiful. I love the model in the game. Daniel did such a fantastic job making it, but uh, at the end of the day, it is still a very small little old engine from yeah, 1875. We're pulling, we're pulling bigger trains than these engines were designed to do, I think, is the issue. Yeah, Glen, Glenbrook was not designed to do this. It was yeah. designed to be, you know, more mixed service as a 260. So, all right. Well, I'm going to go grab the Climax, I guess. Do you want to grab the Climax or do you think you could just grab the Class 48? I could grab the 48. I'd have to fire the 48 up, but I guess it'll that's be faster getting here than the Climax, is my thought, though. Oh, that's very true. Uh, so I went to the iron mine first because I clicked the wrong thing. But yeah, let me uh, let me put some wood in the hole, and uh, we'll, uh, I'll be right there. All right, Khan, I'm almost there. I can't see yeah, I'm, you, I'm, but I'm, I'm vaguely where you stalled. Uh, it's it's like coming up right around this corner. Just slow down. I'm okay. on the back oh, of your I see you now. class I see you 48. Now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually riding with oh, you. Oh, look, this... you've appeared. Hey, I've, I've been that. here this whole time. Hey, you and the lamps have reappeared. The lamps, oh, yeah, it's true. We have lamps back. again. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, that's um, let me put the bar up, and then you're going to just... Yeah, perfect. Ease are back. Ease are back. Excellent. Dunk. All right. And then should be good with this switch. All right. Pull. Excellent. We're moving again. Oh, yeah. A wonderful sign. Oh, yeah. Now, you're going to have to, like, drop off before me, go left up the switch, and I'm going to have to go right, right so you right. get off the track. Oh, I gotta say, okay, so last time I complained about the Glenbrook only having three chefs per rev, but it... this one is four. Oh. The, the goat's correct, and I guess my commenters are saying the other engines are correct, so it's just the Glenbrook that's broken, which is weird. Well, well that's cool. I honestly don't even hear it. I just hear, well, like, con. chuff, 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 chuff. Well, you know, I just hear when you chuff, work chuff, on these chuff, things, this chuff, is, chuff, uh, chuff, chuff, chuff. it would be like the sound of a Honda Civic coming out of my GTO. Oh, are you talking? To, to are you, you talking about so, like the Honda Civic with or without the playing card in the exhaust? Though doesn't matter. Either one. The ones that the guys that put the playing card in the exhaust egregious. to make it go like, nah, 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 you know what I mean? Like those, no. Yeah, those are yeah, the real. A... Those are the real Civic guys. Those are the. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This is flat, so you can it's probably. Fine. I don't know actually. Probably leave you. It's probably. Fine. All right. This is bye. flat, and then it goes up a little bit. So I don't know if I'll have enough speed on this. I might not. Okay. Don't go too well, far. Uh, let me know. Let me know, and then I'll come back. Yeah, I'm still full reg. You're barely pulling away from me, so. Yeah, you see what you're doing, okay. I do have to stop and get the switch, though, or slow down and get the yeah. switch. Yeah, this does. I know this, like, it's 3% mostly from the coal mine, but this is where there's that, like, plateau, so it does flatten out. This is probably only, like, 1% or 2% here. Oh, yeah, I'm oh, catching boy. up. No problem. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Hopefully I roll it? beyond the switch. I got the switch. Uh, okay, don't click it. Don't click it. <laughs> don't. I flicked it. I flicked it. It's, uh, it's fine. It's, um. Heist? Heist? No, it's fine. It's Heist. fine. I don't know. I didn't the see tender, anything. The tender, put that, that, put that brake on that car. The con, tender. Con, tack up. Heist. Though the tender is messed up. Oh, you're, the tender, it was back on the track briefly on my No, it, That's the tender, very sad. the, 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 this is why we look, can't have. Look, 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 the tender's fine. That's why I we can't have nice things, about. Heist. This I is don't, why, this is why we can't have heist things. I am full reg now. I went down to the flat spot there and I picked up, I think I'll have enough speed. I just got to get like past the switch. You decently quick. Yeah, I just yeah. need to get past the switcher. You re-railed that, Class 48? Yeah, we could just... Yeah, it's back on. We'll leave it there. We'll the come hole. pick it up and put it back at the coal mine later as a pusher helper to help people get out. I think that's the best case. And it yeah. looks like, yeah, you, you've got enough speed. I'm going to jump on Yeah, I'm going to hit the flat here. Uh, you're in the UI, but you are staring back into the sunset there, friend. Bro, it's I can a drive scary. a locomotive backwards. That's how good I am. I just, I don't even that's... look where I'm going. I just pull the bars in the opposite direction from behind the, me, the, you know? The funny thing is, it, you say that, but like... Like, people thinking of how your arm would have to move to even make that work and half the locomotives I work on <laughs> doesn't doesn't work out. They're All not right, we're very good. ergonomic. This so. is flat now. Okay. Flat, uh, this was track. a beautiful, beautiful piece of engineering you can see here just to get the uh, bridge to go under the other bridge. N it's new, all... new track, who dis? I like yeah, this. It's always, it's always nice. I did put a telegraph station here just, uh, you know. Okay. Mainly because I was working on it a lot. To the right. 
uh, because uh, somebody earlier hinted at something off to the other side, and I don't want to stare at it for as long as I oh, possibly just, can. Just look at that. This is beautiful. This is amazing. <sighs> he says it's beautiful and amazing, and I'm going to pan the camera. I'm going to pan the camera and pan the even, camera. You can't even and... see the full. What the, the hell full... is this? You can't even see the no! full gloriousness of it. No. It's so good. No. It's so good. No. It's all 2%. No. Now, here's going to be the no. problem. We only have 100 meter leads. So if no. this train is longer than 100 meters, we're actually screwed. But I don't think it is. I think we'll be good. <sighs> I think eight, eight cars, cars is 100 meters like to the maybe, locomotive. There may be 10 meters a piece. So. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did some I'm like, gonna, rough I'm going to stand estimates. at the switch ready for you to stop. And you're going to run off the end of the track. Oh, and right. I'm going to laugh should, should. Your, No, no, it's, it's 0%. Folly. It's 0% here. You are aligned the other way. Oh, you got plenty of space, bro. Well, I could fit another two cars at least. Two, three cars. Okay. Yeah, no, these well, are these are gonna... all these are all zero percent. So like I made Bruh. them two percent in between each switch, right? Bruh. But then it's zero percent on each Bruh. lead. Yeah. If you if you if you just made a roller coaster, we could be there already. We and could, we but are. this is this is seven layers of Switchbacks awesome. Switchbacks are good. It, no. <laughs> we could go we could have no. got up this. It would have been so much easier. Would it have been? Bro, what look at how been? amazing this looks though. Like you can't Do you even, know how you can't long even it would have taken look us the, look at the 50... to run around. Can you imagine the steel bridge budget for this railroad to build this? Like, this is uh, an insane steel bridge budget. Yeah. The the insane is steel. Okay, I legitimately cannot fathom the fact that you actually built this. Like, this is so much work, Con. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I've never built switchbacks before, and everyone keeps bugging me. They were like, "Hey, man, why don't you build switchbacks?" And then ten hours later, I was like, "This is why we don't build switchbacks." Mm -hmm. But like I'm gonna, you know what? This is like the real. This is the real. Dude, this is okay, the kind of so time we're, to we're sit gonna, in first person. We're gonna just... have to. We're gonna have to like get as many cars as physically possible and figure out which engine is the worst on a two percent uh, hint. I think it's Betsy. Actually, it's pretty close probably between the Betsy and Montezuma. It's actually, probably the Eureka. Now nah, Eureka actually still out pulls Betsy and on Montezuma a 2%? on the two percent. On uh, it's not until let's see. 5% that they start to even out. Oh, I think it's 6% that You see those switches Eureka below loses. us? You like how, I love the fact that in working on this, I tried to make all of them, like, the layers overlap, so, like, you can see all the other, like, we're not even, we're not anywhere close. I can appreciate your your time and effort and artistry that went into this con. I'm going uh, to dunk. Oh, there are stoppers. Every Everything does have a stopper. I so. cannot appreciate the... The stupidity that goes into the like okay so yes we have all these switchbacks and they have 100 meter leads which is great uh-huh and we've got this eight car train that fills up some of it so we could pr we presumably could do probably do 10, 12, 10 cars we could do 10 or 12 cars yeah What's your how point? is that better than running up the 10 percent we already have where we've oh it's already... not it's just everyone keeps asking for a switchback so i decided to appease uh, so... the masses but I told so, you, this hey, is more track than our entire railroad in one spot. I would believe that. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I can't even get a good camera view of it with while I'm trying to drive here. Because it's just yeah. like... Yeah. Yeah. So how hey, would... Everyone. Okay, so you build a switchback. Normally, if you were to build a switchback, I'm assuming they cut them into the mountains so you're not building 80 million bridges. Because, like, that well, would be stupid. Well, I mean, that's, that's everything that railroad did. That's, like, that's probably it's, the biggest inaccuracy of railroads online is not using cuts. Right, using you cut into the cuts terrain. Cuts are easier than like fills and everything right. else like, but then driving down a switchback but... like right now i'm no regging it and just letting it coast like is that what you would do you just let it coast back i mean up? if you're going down a two percent grade i mean it depends on the era right like are we in the straight era era are we in the automatic error era or are we in the uh you know the no error era it's very different right so like you'd have brakes tied and you'd be in tension in the no ear era right in the modern era that i know with automatic air i mean i would just be setting up whatever i would need to go down this in a two percent grade i mean that's like easy sauce to go down i'm used to four percent all the time you know what i love um, about this so we're only on the second layer of like seven and and like look at how much further pretty. this goes look at this look at, it keeps going around the mountain here everything like I do like this layer. This is everything. Really everything pretty. is like sixty meter curves minimum, so there's no am, like really tight Tom, corners. I'm giving you, I'm giving you some points, but at the end of the day, the fact that there are only hundred meter head chunks on either side, like yeah, it's uh, we, so we're gonna do like maybe twelve cars, which is like the whole point of doing this would be so like okay, we can run a thirty car train up this, but we're still gonna have to do right, it but in we sections. Get, but couldn't we just couldn't we just section it like at each stage? Then why the heck were we not 
going up a 10% grade in sections that's half the length of this? That's a good or question. A, I don't a, know. A, 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 a I mean, I could, I could, to be fair, to be fair, I could easily, Dies. if we wanted to, stop. I'm trying to stop. If we wanted to, though, to be fair, Heist, I could take all these hench shuds and just make them a little longer. That is, that is an easy enough okay. change to make. Okay, that, that's probably, that would probably Because all the ideal. switches are set now, right? So now that all the switches are set, I just picked 100 meters because I was like, I need a number to make just sure that they're easy. all... Just an easy, okay. That's, so I was like, all right, fine, 100 then. meters, but I could easily just extend the head shunts out. There's tons of space to like make the bridges longer, make them 200 meter head okay. shunts, and then so, so there there will be a purpose for this. We could point, we but... could expand it. Yeah, it depends on how much it gets used. You know, oh right God. now it's a very expensive project that management said we had to do, and <laughs> it's, it's we're not sure how the payout's gonna work yet. Too real, bro. <laughs> yeah, management was like, we want to switch back, and I was like, okay. And have, they were like, so eight, we need you to build a layers. switch back here. And I was like, okay, at what grade? And they're like, 2%. And I was like, okay, well, that's going to end up being apparently eight layers. And they're like, well, that's fine. And so that's what I did. It's, but, um, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, this is... Um, it looks it looks really nice, though. It, I it, will looks, it looks crazy. The scenery is cool. And, and the fact that you continue the layers pretty far actually makes it pretty cool. And it's always neat to have multiple layers of track in the same scene, quote unquote, that you can see. Um, but, but this is some God, model railroading, is, though. This is model railroading. This is this is this is just some operational nightmare. Like, yeah. I know you were saying is, you uh, have that small model railroad in your house, all right? What you need to do is start getting into bigger model railroads. And you know how people make like levels of model railroads that usually run around like the outside of their room. You need to make yes. a, like an upper and a lower level, and the only way to get a train from one to the other is with a massive switchback. Just have, just have a wall Con, where there's gonna do you have a buddy you, with I'm this? I'm going to let you in on a little secret about people who play with model trains. They don't like switchbacks? No. We like to sit there, drink beer, and watch our trains go around in a circle while we talk with friends. Oh, you don't actually, you don't actually want to... I mean, we will... You do operate. We do operate here and there. That's maybe 10 or 20% of the time. The rest oh, see, of the time so much, is... It's so much different in the RC world. We're, like, constantly engaged, and drinking makes RC bad. Oh, well, that, that's fair. That's fair, and it makes sense. But, like, most of the time is spent hung out with friends, and it's like, okay, sometimes it's fun to, like, okay, we're going to do an op sessions and move these cars and figure out these things and run the railroad. But a lot of times it's fun to just be hanging out, and it's when you'd, like, oh, we're not when you'd be doing, oh, we're going to run the railroad together. It's just like, no, we're hanging out, and shoot, man, we could run some trains and watch trains do stuff. And so there is a very decent aspect of many railroads where it makes sense to try and plan for trains going around in circles or in dog bones or in something like that. Gotcha. Uh, not everyone's like that, but but many are, and it means that things get used more. You run the railroad more often when it's not a, oh, well, we have to plan this op session, we have to do this whole thing, and it's a, it's a whole show to make happen. You know, you know? what's the best part about this heist? which we didn't even what? talk about. We can deliver the lumber products now to the coal mine via this. I don't know if that's the best part, Con. I but really we can don't. go we can go up this. We could we could next episode we could go up the whole thing with like 12 plank cards, you know. Great. So we can do that with Betsy? I, I cool. mean, I guess. Yeah. Cool. Could, or could... we could take the climax and take the same weight, actually more weight, up to ten percent. Right, but that's not as fun, Heist. You see, we're we're all about the fun and the experience. You know, I fail to see how this is more fun. I don't, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. We've moved, like technically speaking, we've only really moved two hundred feet this entire time because we've come down two hundred feet from that rail up there. You know, not in elevation in position and now we've moved 300 feet and uh in about five minutes we'll have moved we'll 200 400 feet, feet again yeah because it's perfect. that's how this works yeah no it's great dude uh, i, I you know i, I can't even tell you like this but <laughs> the amount of time it took to like lay out all the foundation and then deal with the fact that foundation doesn't float on foundation anymore and then it, and i know it's you probably don't notice much but like all the switches they don't because they have that switch foundation which doesn't go down far enough so i had to put custom foundation under every yeah, switch no, you, to you make custom it made all of this this yeah. is like dude don't get me wrong uh this is awesome about an effort and engineering and time by you i i love and respect that i hate the you idea hate in general bring them back i don't like oh i'm trying to bring it back I mean, i'm going to bonk hard here oh that's fine oh! 
Um, I saw the end car stop pretty violently. Is uh, everything okay? That was, there? that was, uh... Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a oh. It's pulling, each oh, car is oh, pulling the next oh car. Oh my god, it's oh the longest derailment. Come on! Oh, no. Each Come one on. struck the next car over. Come on! Oh, oh my god, god. here's your cup, <laughs> sir. I had a friend of mine on Discord show me some footage of that darn rotary barrel transfer that we talked about. The one that flipped the cars upside down. Oh yeah, a couple weeks back well, on the, we just, on the we show. We just did that here without the rotary transfer. So oh, we, we did it without the rotary transfer, but uh, it wasn't uh, planned or organized or anything. So it was a little bit of entropy there. But um, I guess uh, Greg Scholl, who makes a lot of productions about the narrow gauge stuff, uh, has a third division DNRGW video. That's a DVD that you can get. Uh, but there's a preview for it, and it shows just a couple snippets of the uh, the Monarch Mine switchback, and also the rotary transfer at Salida, which was what ultimately the limestone went to. Oh uh, my god, and it was I'm, I'm so dumb. Super cool to see. Anyway, uh, how are you dumb? <laughs> okay, what, so... What, Con? Did you uh, not I, have the air compressor on? No, 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 that's not the issue. I built the switchback, okay? There are seven mm -hmm. switchbacks. Okay. Now, why is seven switchbacks oh, a problem? Oh, we're going to be ending up shoving the rest of the we way. We end up backwards you didn't use an even coming out of this. You're... I need an eighth switchback. Because back. you are the engineer that put the oil filter in a very stupid place on most modern cars. Yeah, so I have actually, I have it. a scar on the back of my right hand because the oil filter on my first car was in a terrible spot. And to oh get God, it out, you, you really? ended up destroying the back of your hand on this piece of frame metal. So, yeah. No, I, I, I get I, I that. Poke that's fun. That's, poke fun. that's literally what this is. I, I can't believe I built seven. I need an eighth switchback right at the very you bottom. Do, we're going to have to do one more, I guess. Or delete one and change the grade. All right. No, I'm not blind. changing the grade, bro. I'm not doing 2% down 90% of the hill and then being like, <laughs> oh, we're doing three at the end. The bottom. No, like really, Fine. all I need to do is when we get to the flat section of ground, just have one final lane that you can... Or even, it doesn't even need to be a lane. It could just be a Y, right? And you just go with a with a passing track. Yeah, yeah, that would work. Because there's plenty, you'll funny. see when we get down there, there's gonna be plenty of flat ground, but I can't believe I screwed that up. I put, I made seven, we're gonna shove. That is, that is one of those fun things that you find when you, when you test things out, that's funny. I never and, even and I thought give... of it until we just, we, uh, and then I realized we're gonna end up backwards, which is obviously stupid, so. I give a lot of crap about the oil filter thing, but my GTO, which is 1968, very old, uh, the oil filter comes down so close against the exhaust pipe and header that I can't use an end cap filter wrench. I have to use one of the strap type nice. that goes around it. And I pull it off and it dumps oil all over the header every time. And there's no yeah, that's, nice that's way good. to That's do always it. a good, good, good yeah. thing to do. It's just, uh, just, uh, just the way it goes. Thanks. Thanks, so Pontiac. if we were going, okay, so we've been going down. So obviously every time we go down the switchback, our, our engine alternates from being on the front to the back and the front to the back. Right? Yeah. And if you go up, it's the same thing. You shove half the time and you push, you pull half the time. And that's yeah, just... exactly. And, and you just, you know, make sure your rolling stock's good for it, right? Like, typically freight rolling stock was all kind of set up for those forces a little bit better than the passenger rolling stock. Um, that it, it, you know, it just depends, really. You want to make sure that you're not going to cause an excess of anything with it. So a lot of the, a lot of the rolling stock that went up the Monarch Mine switchback ended up with some amount of reinforcement or uh, additional engineering as opposed to stuff that just went over the road. Uh, and then you compare that to passenger and it's like some of the Rio Grande cars got steel reinforcement, not just wood frames, but steel reinforcement. And many of them didn't. And so it's like, okay, to this day, you can bring them back to the line. Um, oh yeah, I've been breaking this... since like we before we even got oh, off. I'm, the hill. I'm sure, I'm sure, but I'm telling you that you're lined now, so you're safe to bring him back. Yeah. Um, this is this is actually I need to put 200 meter leads on this, and then I need to also put another switch back. Now we're shoving the rest of the way. Like, right, this is, you're this gonna is... shove the rest of the way to the <laughs> the coal to it's the fine. the ironworks. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine, everybody. So yeah, um, I definitely I definitely need another another switch back at the far end there, which I could easily I'll I'll do definitely yeah. do that and I'm I'm honestly I'm probably just gonna make another switch. I mean there's no reason to not just do another switch back rather than a Y. It's less complicated to just switch back one more time. Even though it'll be exactly. pretty it'll yeah, be pretty yeah, low. Yeah, I mean a y, a y would be more annoying, but definitely um yeah, I 
setup like that would make the most sense. So, yeah, that's what I would do too. Yeah, like right um, here, you can see on the far side there, we're gonna loop all the way around now, and then we're gonna get to a bridge that's kind of above the fortress. Oh yeah, you could you could just do one more one more switch back there, switch back, and then and then cut off some of the railroad there. Yeah. Yeah, and you'll see, like it's it's a pretty self-explanatory. I totally forgot. I, I built it. I was like, oh, and then I got to this final part. And I was like, oh, thank God. I'm close enough to the ground. I can just 2% it the rest of the way. And, you know, but like, yeah, like realistically right here on this mountain, oh. it should have another switch. So you did build from the top down for this, huh? Yeah, you had to, because otherwise you weren't going to like be able to hug the terrain effectively. See? See? At the start of the series, you were saying you like to build from the up? Or well, if it's a 10% line, then yeah. But if it's 2% down, then no, because this is stupid. And Well, uh, everybody who plays this game except us does 2% down or 3% maybe, so... Oh, God. You know, tips, important. I, I have yet to see somebody build a redonkulous switchback like this, though. This is, like, excessive this, to the max. This, this is. I, I will give you that, Con. I've seen a lot of stuff built in this game. Yeah. This is the first utterlessly pointless stupid oh no you're not gonna say that you're not gonna say that when i put when i put 250 300 meter leads on this thing and then we're doing Con? 30 meter trains Con? up two percent I, I will i will bet you some some dollars some dollar you will still do it we're gonna we're gonna have to do a race oh a, we'll a, do a race one way versus the other a, a race from the freight depot one way versus the other maybe i don't know similar speed engine if not the same engine making sure we can both do we the can tonnage do the, or we whatever. We can do the same engine, but you need to get the helper, and I don't. Right, and so the but helper... But then we also I have to make sure... pick up the helper and everything, yeah. We have to make sure the load tonnage is accurate. Because yeah, so, what makes so the switchback sure good that is that... the, the tonnage I'm, over either way, yeah. Right, but like, what makes the switchback good is, let's say we have 20 cars to do, you have to double the hill where I don't. That's the point, right? Like, that's sort of the... Well, so you're right gonna have to now, flick you can't... Left there you when can't, you come up you can't do uh, a double right now. Well, no, I'm going to. I'm going to make it 200, 300 meter leads. So, so make it bigger, make it longer, so you can do more tonnage. Um, and put we another even switch do, back on it. We could even do like given the same amount of cars, like we could do it faster or yeah, whatever. Yeah, we need more money have to though, double too. the hill we or gotta... Well, we'll get there. That'll be a later episode. Yeah. You know, let us know if you want to see us do that. Because yeah, I, to, to be honest, I don't fun. really want to work on the switchback right now. Um, uh, you, you've probably burnt out on working on the switchback. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I need a little bit of a break before I get back to working on the switchback again. Yep. Um, but I do yeah. I do need to put another switchback on it because this whole shoving the rest of the way is kind of stupid. It's a little silly. Yeah, yeah and if we were to go to up this shove. way, we'd end up shoving to the coal mines, which is also stupid. So uh, it should yeah. be even, yeah, a little bit. even numbered and not odd numbered that would yeah i don't uh, i don't i honestly didn't i don't know in all my time working makes on a, it, i didn't mix a bit of a difference once think about that a little bit of a problem though not to burst your bubble but we are already out of raw iron here so that's uh yeah <laughs> goodness <laughs> yeah it, it it there was a stack and it is now all gone and there's still lumber which is good yeah, but this thing takes a thousand coal for some reason, so it's got coal well, for days. Well, you must have made some money. How much money you got now? Let's see. Everything's unloaded. Um, and yeah, I've got 2305. Well, that's good. Uh, so that's 1200 bucks. Yeah, so, so we just less, need like really, we could honestly that. just take oh. whatever products come out of the tool works and sell them and then like we'd be good to go. Boom. And that would be that. That would yeah. do pretty well. And then uh, be on our way to having a locomotive more peril powerful than Glenbrook. Yeah, we need we need something that can to pull say, up 3%. It took us so long to get just the Glenbrook and now it's like, well, yeah, it's not uh, not doing it for us. So, well, anyway. think about it though. We're already connected to a lot of the industries. Like we're really, you know, and we've got some good we're lines. I mean, there. Yeah. to be fair, Glenbrook would do great bringing these back up to the coal mine up to 2%. We just got to turn right here and just you know and just and just go dun, 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 yeah dun, 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 there it, it is it, what it'll be seven times i'm gonna make it eight and it'll be great i don't know all right uh we were uh jokingly hiring for the position of uh person to switch out the smelter previously or corded loader previously right. um yeah uh next position switchback shunter switchback be, operator be, be the switchback man yeah switchback operator all you do is just sit there running the switchback so, yeah, uh, one thing that, speaking of that, that I, I am curious about, and I don't know enough about it, and it's my own railroad, is with the Rio Grande and the way that they ran the switchbacks at Monarch, they had two engines doing it, so it was like they handed the consist off, 
and like so an engine would, on either side type deal? Yeah, so that like there's a clip in the Greg Schult clip uh, of his preview of the, of the video. The one engine brings the cut of cars up into the switchback, and then there's a second engine on the upper leg ready to go. So it's like they're handing up legs at a time. They've got an engine per switchback kind of thing, and they, they hand up these chunks of cars. And, you know, I guess that would be a way to do it. You could step wise, like, okay, this engine runs it up this leg, this engine runs it up this leg. And you could, it's like a bucket brigade, but with steam right. engines. Right. So we just yeah. need to buy a bunch of shades. And have oh, one there is your there's your use for a bunch of Right, shades. so we have if we have eight shays, right? And each one's at one leg of the switchback, and then they just pass the cars up, you know, I hate, I hate up. this idea already, but you, I mean you could run faster than the shade to line the switch, so I mean Right, it makes and then you could just have sense. them and they're they're, I, they're yes. geared enough that they would probably stop uh oh, do you wanna just line us into the hump? Yep. Lining us in to at least the inbound, yeah. And yeah. We can line to the but anyway, yeah, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. A little bit uh, longer of an episode because uh, switchbacks are fast. They're super fast. Super and fast. So much better. Super, you guys were super so reliable right. yeah. lines. But like hey, the look, we got these there. back from the yep. smelter without ever coming back up that way. So that's kind of cool. Yep. And we and we definitely didn't derail anything on the no, way. No, like, we have it a loop like now. An operational so, like, problem. And these cars are definitely in a good place for us to use them again. Well, like, they are, man. This is the this is the hub. This is the hub, man. This is the hub of our rail. Railroad. It's the hub, it's the crap hub, and it will always be a great place to, you know, assemble your trains and set about for the day. So So you're telling me that the crap hump is the sewer? Yes. Alright, on that uh, on that note, uh, it's time to end. So yep. thanks for watching everybody. Catch y'all later. Bye. Bye.